Right, welcome back to another tutorial. Hopped on the old YouTube. Look at that handsome fox. Anyway, I didn't really know what to do. Also, mind my voice. It's disgusting. Anyway, so I was looking at tutorials, and I can't lie. It's a lot of bollocks. Well, anyway, I thought I should do a tutorial on how I format my tunes, because I found that really difficult to do when I was first learning. All I do with my tunes is I put a memory cue marker every 16 beats, so 8 bars. I guess it depends like how your tunes are and stuff, as in like if you want a break in it or if you want it just to lead up to the tune. Like for example on this one, I put one every 8, bar, eight bars and then it has a, then it has a break. So that it leads up to the tune. Then for the another example is this tune, and I've just put a memory cue every eight bars, and then it goes straight into a drop, which is how I basically form all my doubles and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So now all I'm gonna do is show you a build up that I did, and I'll break it down at the end. Let the story begin. Right, so all I do with my triples is I'll have one main tune, which is the build-up. In this case, it was Decompression by Wilkinson. Then I'll have a secondary tune, which, like in this one, is the sub-focus tune, and it's like it stands out, it's got like a higher pitch, or something like to different tones in it. And then the third one I'll have, which will be what I want the drop to sound like, that is the metric tune. So as you can see in the video, I played the first tune and then added the one with the higher tones to like increase it. And then I, the third one, I also look for like different things that stand out. Like in the metric tune, it's got a couple of bass sounds that stand out. And then I'll take away the second tune, which was the sub-focus tune, as I don't really want it in the drop and it'll make it muddy. And I'll just leave the original tune and the tune I want as the main drop. That's basically it. So that's the end of the video. If you could give me some feedback on it, that'd be awesome. And anything else you'd like to see. Um, and if you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe. That helps me quite a lot. Uh, thank you very much.